Welcome to this uh, Windows Computer and Technology channel and let's talk about Cloud PC. What is cloud computing and what is Microsoft going to announce this week? So we'll come back with more details of all of this when it is officially released as information. But we know that this week Microsoft is announcing cloud computing. And we'll have some details of cloud computing and cloud computing for the uh, enterprise mostly. So will this impact? I got a lot of people that ask questions because they've actually heard that this is going to be announced. And we're wondering, well, is this going to replace Windows in the future? Uh, is this something that consumers will have the possibility to use? Is that our future of Windows? So here's the thing. Um, Right now, when you want to run Windows and when you want to do tasks, what happens? You're running the full operating system on your computer. And that means that that operating system needs a minimum of power off of your machine. So your computers, you know, you have to buy a minimum of power to actually run smoothly in Windows. Now, when Cloud computing is going to be announced. What they plan to do with cloud computing is to have a different way of working. Cloud computing means that all you need is a basic form of computer, which is called a client. And that means it doesn't need to be powerful. As long as it gets on the internet, it displays what we're sending to it. It's all that's needed. That means that all the heavy computing, everything that's really rough, everything that is the difficult task is a task done by a computer in a server. So that is what it's all about. In a computer on a server, which is powerful, you can run anything. And your client, at the other end, what you're doing, you're interacting with that computer with a mouse, a keyboard. So all the computing power is left to a computer somewhere else. That means you need just a minimum of something that doesn't really, um, isn't really powerful to actually run what uh, you will be doing. So it costs less for you. You just buy a minimum required device that can actually run what is uh, going to be uh, in the cloud. Now, the idea behind this is to eventually have computing done there and that only clients will be available. So you'll need just a basic form of computer instead of buying a big gun, very powerful computer because it's the requirement to run all the software and the things that you need to do. Um, Windows is another example. You can run Windows in the cloud and have a client, you know, interact instead, which means just a basic form of terminal at your end. And of course, everything's done in the cloud, which means there's no data loss that can happen at your end. It's all stored in the cloud and it's easy to manage and to share because it's um, if everybody's in the cloud, it's kind of the easy way to do things. Now, this cloud computing platform is right now only for enterprise. What we know this week is that Microsoft will be announcing this, but only for enterprise. That means there really will not be any client or cloud PC for consumers, uh, not yet at least. What does that mean in the long run? It means that it's not impossible that eventually Microsoft would want to try to push all the enterprise to cloud computing, which means they would not have to deal with releasing a big Windows version anymore. But we're really far from that. And what we're gonna announce this week, they're gonna announce this week is pricing and information on how this will all work. And it's going to be an interesting, um, you know, it's going to be interesting to see the future of cloud computing. Will it actually take on eventually? Um, a lot of people are on the impression that operating systems are slowly on the way out. That one day our computers will just be, you know, any device that has a screen, a mouse and a keyboard or a touchscreen and run 
cloud versions of everything. Um, this opens up the possibility that, for example, your smart TV, which is a very low power computer, would be able to interact and would be fine with this type of uh, functioning. So you'd be able to run Windows on your smart TV, for example, without your smart TV being very powerful, simply because the only thing it does is interact with what's happening in the computer in the cloud. We have another side of this that's happening right now, and that uh, is kind of uh, the same thing, but in a different way. And it has to do with gaming. A lot of cloud gaming is being examined right now. Cloud gaming means that you don't need to have a super powerful machine to run games because games are very demanding. It's all done in the cloud. And what basically happens is you're just streaming the game and your controller is controlling what's happening in the cloud computer. It's not controlling anything in your own PC. Your PC just needs to be as a basic device that simply interacts with that computer in the cloud. So more about this probably this week as they'll announce it. But um, slowly, I guess there is going to be a future of cloud computing. And that's what's going to happen over time. Um, and we'll see how fast and how well this actually goes. But one of the problems of cloud computing right now, this is the main problem of cloud computing, all has to do with the fact that a lot of people still don't have really good performance internet access. And that is something that is needed for this to work well. And as long as there's still a lot of people and a lot of enterprise that have low-grade internet, this will be a, com a, a problem for you know cloud computing. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.